Remy Naravolu teaches companies and organizations how to protect their data. The need is growing. As computer systems become more and more widespread, it is not unusual to hear of attacks on major corporations in which sensitive data and credit card information on hundreds of thousands of people have been stolen. There is more and more push towards more and more functionality, central uh, banking from home or uh, reserving your ticket online. And now, with the advent of these mobile smartphones, people are doing their online shopping uh, with this. So all these are potential areas. So absolutely, it has increased indeed. I have worked for uh, large organizations, and the challenge is um, there is this um, requirement of users being able to take their laptops home when they travel, and there is always this, op and they could be hooking up their computers to non enterprise networks to access the enterprise network. So there are so many areas where they could pick up malicious software or um, using of USB drives. So depending on how an organization's security policies are, what is the maturity level of the organization? Um, yes, there is always a threat for data uh, theft. Companies can do a lot to guard against attacks. But experts say computer security is a never-ending task as the technology and the threats constantly evolve. The question is always, have we done enough? It is something you cannot answer at any given point in time, saying, now we are secure. It is because one way to look at it is security mitigation is always playing catch-up with the threats. So just when you discover something, there is a new threat. And this, this discrepancy between uh, the attacks and the mitigation will always be there. And for a, a, a also think about it in this angle, a hacker has to get it right once, but an organization has to get it right each and every time with each and every mitigation strategy. Naravulu, who travels across the United States to train companies on data security, says there are a number of tools organizations can use to prevent outsiders from hacking into their networks. You have monitoring tools, you have firewall, as you mentioned, uh, which is to prevent, uh, to control what sort of traffic is allowed and um, uh, are permitted or denied. Um, and then you have monitoring to ensure. So you, you trust this equipment are doing well, but you need to verify. And to verify, you need uh, complementing monitoring tools and logs. And, and, and there should also be some form of auditing periodically to make sure all of these, all the processes are being adhered to, being followed, uh, uh, and there is a constant awareness. Uh, the awareness has, uh, is increasing with the users and these tools are working effectively. Experts say it's important to realize that no single thing will keep data safe. A combination of measures is needed. There are several layers of defense that you need to put in. But you could classify all the approaches in a, in a, in a security management strategy as follows. Um, you have the technology of all the security tools. You have the processes associated with it and the people. So technology is something that you can implement, but implementing a good technology, the analogy I would use is, a race car is only as good as the driver behind the wheel. So you may have good technologies, but uh, by the same token, you must have robust processes as well as awareness of the people within the organization, the security team. It's not just the security team's responsibility. Security is everybody's responsibility. Naravulu says one particularly useful method that he and other computer security experts use is penetration testing, also known as ethical hacking. That's when, with the permission of their clients, they try to break into a company's data system to test how easy it would be for criminals to steal information. Keeping an organization's data safe from hackers is a constant game of cat and mouse. Each new step to improve security is inevitably met by more sophisticated ways to break in. Experts say defense against attacks must be multi-layered, including new technologies, constant monitoring, and thorough ongoing training of staff. For Up to Date, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.